Hello cryptopreneurs, welcome to today's edition of CEOs, Crypto Edutainment and Opportunities. Alright, so today we are going to be talking about Arbitrum. I'm going to show you three ways how you can actually get Ethereum on Arbitrum Network into your private wallet. Okay, remember like I said earlier on, Arbitrum don't have their native token yet, so you can only use Ethereum or maybe USDT on Arbitrum Network. You can transfer both ETH or USDT, stable currency, into your private wallet on the Arbitrum Network. Okay, first we are going to explore the centralized exchange option. Alright, so just before we continue don't forget to smash up the like button and if you're new hit up the subscribe button for more on ceos first of all before you can send arbitrum from a centralized exchange like binance or kucoin or any other exchange it means you must have a receiving address okay so now i'm going to show you how to get your receiving arbitrum address from your private wallet okay i'm using um safe Power here as a case study all right so i'm logged in to my safe Power wallet i'm on the screen here you have to click on this drop down menu you can see all blockchain i've already added to my wallet okay you can see the arbitrum one the binance matching and others okay but um you your own might not be like this you may need to add it up okay so if you want to add up arbitrum to your private wallet first thing you need to do is to scroll down and you click on manage coins okay once you click on manage coins all you need to do is type in arbitrum this box provided for you okay so once you type it in options should be provided and you should just click this first option which has the arbitrum logo on it okay toggle it on or click this add button just the first one okay so once you click it it will automatically appear here so you can see arbitrum and others okay you can also add any other blockchain you wish to add all right so once you've done this you can now get your arbitrum address okay but first of all what's arbitrum for those that don't know much about arbitrum arbitrum is just a layer 2 scaling solution for ethereum okay if arbitrum is a layer 2 scaling solution it means it is dependent on a layer 1 which layer 1 scaling solution ethereum okay so arbitrum is helping ethereum scale their blockchain blockchain what do i mean by that okay so for most of you that have performed a transfer on ethereum you find out that sometimes the transaction may get delayed in um, confirmation or sometimes you may have high transaction fees as much as 10 12 15 dollars or even more as transaction charges and you don't want to bear such cost so arbitrum helps in reducing those charges and helping ensuring quick transaction confirmation okay so it helps in scaling ethereum blockchain all right so after adding up what you see here is the areth as seen here okay so this is how you get your arbitrum address you don't use your ethereum address to receive arbitrum token no please safe power wallet on your trust wallet or any private wallet you're using if it's not there automatically you need to add it up then you click on receive to copy out your address and go to any centralized exchange that is if you are sending token from a centralized exchange okay right now arbitrum don't have their own native token or you can only send other token using the arbitrum wallet address okay so after copying the wallet address you can go to your binance right now i'm logging to my binance let's say i want to send ethereum via crypto network okay so i'm going to click on network okay once you scroll down you can see arbitrum one network has been provided for you so you just have to click on it then paste in your wallet address there okay you can see very very cheap to transfer arbitrum or ethereum from binance into your private wallet on the arbitrum network but you must ensure that you are actually using the arbitrum wallet address from your private wallet okay so this is you being able to withdraw or send ethereum into your private wallet from binance a centralized exchange you can also do the same thing too with kucoin you can also withdraw usdt and eth which is ethereum on the arbitrum network all right so that is the first option the second way you can actually get arbitrum ethereum is to use the official website provided by arbitrum okay which is bridge.arbitrum.io okay if you're exploring that using the browser in your wallet you must ensure that this drop down menu here is actually on the ethereum network okay because you have your ethereum on erc20 and you want to convert it to arbitrum okay so you must ensure that this is on ethereum network before you click on go okay so bridge.arbitrum.io that is a way you can actually convert your ethereum on erc20 network to ethereum on arbitrum okay all right so once the page loads what you need to do is to go to bridge click on go to bridge yes you have the swap page what you want to do is you have your ethereum on erc20 and you want to swap it to ethereum on arbitrum okay so what you need to do is to enter the amount of ethereum here yeah once you've successfully entered the amount in your wallet that you want to move to arbitrum one network this button will be enabled what you need to do next is to click on move funds to arbitrum one okay so once you click on it it will uh, just take some few minutes to perform the swap underneath the hood then you have your arbitrum one ethereum 
in your wallet okay so you can now go and but i usually don't use this option i only start using it when i had um little or no idea on how to use this option i'm about to show you all right so um actually this is the cheapest option cheapest and fastest way of actually converting any token to arbitrum one this is powered by binance as well as a uh, safe pile okay so now if you have your ethereum in your private wallet all you need to do is to click on it then you see swap receive send all you need to do next is to click on swap you want to swap your ERC20 Ethereum to Ethereum on Arbitrum Network. Okay, so you can see what you need to do next is to enter the amount. If you enter the amount to show you the equivalent, of course, it's the same Ethereum, it's the same amount, the same price. All you need to know is that they will charge you a little amount as gas fee. Okay, so very cheap. This is powered by Binance. Binance still remain the best in transaction fee. Yeah, they are doing very well. Okay, so once this appears, then you can click on swap. The charges is actually very, very negligible. Okay, so you can see 0 0.30012 Ethereum which is just about two cents or so if you also have your BUSD, you can also convert directly to ethereum okay let's go to binance smart chain i've just done some swap recently just uh, before i started this in fact i was actually doing the swap thinking i was recording but unfortunately my recorder wasn't recording all right so you can see i have just um perform a swap here once you click on swap on busd you can also do it on eth if i'm not mistaken then you will be able to click on busd to arbitrum okay you can see yes it's available you can convert your stable currency directly to uh, ethereum on arbitrum network okay and you will just be charged just a few cents from your money yeah which is the cheapest among all the options for now okay so i think these are the three ways you can actually convert your assets your digital assets to an arbitrum network then you can use it to actually carry out a swap and complete any trade you wish to complete using any of the dexes available to you all right so you can explore any of these three options majorly and make use of the centralized exchange option when withdrawing from centralized exchange to my safe our wallet or i perform a swap using the binance powered swap here on safe power wallet all right so don't forget to smash up the like button and if you're new to my channel hit up the subscribe button and put on the notification bell for more updates on ceos so thank you very much i remain the bishop of crypto cathedral do have a wonderful day